of course, when I was 27, I had a botched lip job. Um, and that led to a trout pout, which is um, what they call it when the upper lip hangs down unnaturally over the lower lip. I know it's a very done look, okay? I don't deny that for one second. But I think I'm a beautiful man. My uh, mom and dad are in the audience tonight. I uh, just want to thank uh, mom and dad for my uh, amazing jawline. Uh, without you two, I would just be a, a regular looking guy who could do a, a spot on Neil Young impersonation. So uh, thanks to my mom and dad for, for coming by the studio. What's up, America? Um, I'm Zac Efron. I just want to let you know that I intend to reveal nothing about myself during this interview. And um, we can talk about the fact that I took my shirt off at that awards show. But if you bring up my severe drug problem, um, or the fact that I may or may not be bisexual, um, I'll probably just glaze over so that you have nothing to cut to. Okay. And we got tickets the other day to the Laugh Factory, okay? And we would go over to that place, and man, that, uh, that young guy, Dane Cook, oh, oh, really funny. <laughs> You know, he tells some joke about, uh, 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 some about, uh, 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 I don't remember what it was, but it was hilarious. Thank you for calling Dr. Tip Moore's office. This is Lisa. I work at the Montessori School, okay? Uh, I am the vice principal. A lot of people are saying to me, Emil, how is it that you is going to get to be a 29-year-old guy? You're going to be the vice principal at the Montessori School. Yeah, I said to Dan, you know, that's a hard work and a persistent. I think the reason my band didn't get signed is because I took off my glasses and she saw my ugly eyes. My ugly little worm eyes with the crusties on them. When he tells you these things, you cannot take it personally, okay? Yes, he told you to look like Maggie Gyllenhaal. He was trying to give you a compliment. Some people think she's pretty. And this is Rick, okay? I mean, he's fat. He has a limp dick, you know? And I know he's your husband, but... Hi, I'm Rico, and if you want me to puppet a corpse for you, come on down. Rico's corpse puppeting is the only place where loved ones you've lost can come springing back to life. All you have to do is bring us the body. We take care of the rest. Wish you could dance with your dead grandma at your wedding. Let us come in, take a few simple measurements of the ceiling structure in your venue, and then string her corpse up like a fucking puppet. I know what you photograph when you photograph me, Charles. You photograph my flippy floppies, resting against my lower ribs. Why don't you put hooks in them, Charles? What you find when you look back at the um, late 20th and early 21st centuries is um, the women would inject their lips with uh, liquid plastic, and this was to help them mimic uh, an inflamed hemorrhoidal anus. Do you guys have any vegan options? I don't eat gluten or dairy. I meat. I can have a salad.